Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have y m five y to be equal to eighty y to the power of negative one over three. This is very simple, right? Because what I'm expected to do right now is to divide everything by five. Then I will divide this by five. This will go with this, right? Meaning that y is equal to 80 divided by 5 will give 16. Then we have 16y to the power of negative 1 over 3. Now let's confirm how we got that 16. 8 divided by 5 is 1, remainder 3, making this 13, right? Making this 30. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So that is correct. And now from here, this is the same thing as y being equal to 16 over, because of this negative, everything that has to do with y will go down. So we have y to the power of 1 over 3, but the negative has gone, right? Now, the next thing is to cross multiply because this is over 1 as well. So we have y multiplied by y to the power of 1 over 3 equal to 16. Now, this is very simple, right? Because from here, we believe that here is having power of 1. And if that is the case, then we are going to have y as 1 because they are the same base, pick one of them. Then we add the powers 1 over 3. And this is going to be equal to 16. And then from here, if we continue, then we have y. Putting these two together, we are going to have one whole number, 1 over 3 as the power, right? And this is equal to 16. Now, this power, let's, let's write it in index, um, how do you call it? As improper um, fraction. So we're going to have y. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1. That will be 4 over 3, which will be equal to 16. Now, the next thing is how do we do away with this power? We can do that by multiplying the power by its reciprocal. The power is 4 over 3. Its reciprocal is 3 over 4. That's how we can eliminate this from there. Then the reciprocal will reflect on the right. So we have 16 to the power of 3 over 4. Now, 3 will go with 3, 4 will go with 4, and then y is equal to 16 to the power of 3 over 4, and that means we are looking for the cube root, rather the fourth root of 16, then whatever that we have, we raise it to the power of 3. And by the way, what number do you multiply by itself four times to get 16? The number will be 2, right? So y is equal to 2 to the power of 3. Because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 will give 16. Now, y is equal to 2 to the power of 3, and it is 8. So this is the value of y that will satisfy the equation. But then, we can check it to be sure we are correct. Let's confirm it quickly. Okay, so this is the equation. And we are having that y is 8. So we have 5 multiplied by 8. And then, will this be equal to 80 um, multiplied by y is 8 to the power of negative 1 over 3? This is what we have, right? And then, like I said before, this times this will give us 40. Then, let's work on this. We're having 80. Then, this is going to be 1 over 8 to the power of 1 over 3. Close this. Now, we have 40 on the left, which is going to be equal to, or not equal to, we have 80. And by the way, 8 to the power of 1 over 3 is the same thing as the cube root of 8. And the cube root of 8 is giving us 2.
right so it goes down under the 80 now 40 is definitely equal to 40 because 80 divided by 2 is 40 so we have confirmed that y is equal to 8 and is satisfies the equation thank you for watching